Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I'm pretty excited to announce something from uh, Generate Present. This is breaking news. This has already been announced and they've already they've already talked about it. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm excited because I've I've longed for something new from Generate Press, especially in the page building realm, uh, especially with Gutenberg. And a few months back, they announced their Generate uh, Blocks uh, initiative, and they've officially made it more official. How many times am I going to say official? And uh, I want to talk about their approach to a hyper-focused Gutenberg experience and give you a general taste of it today so you can see it and see if it works for you in your Generate Press building experiences. Let's go ahead and dive right into a testing page. Let's take a look at what the page looks like. It's absolutely nothing. It's blank. And we're going to add in our own typical hero section uh, using generate blocks. Okay, so let's go ahead. And the first thing we'll do is type in generate, pull up the different blocks here. We're going to first start with a container. I already have uh, the layout set to full width content. And on the document side, I'm using content, no sidebars. And this is something that makes the whole thing full width. And this is, this is unique to uh, the generate press theme. But you can see here on the right hand side, when you input one of the generate blocks, you have all of these options uh, to play with to customize your block building experience. So this is very familiar territory to a lot of us, especially in the page building world, but this is their uh, approach to it. So I have the container and now I'm going to add a grid and we'll do a side by side grid there. We'll add another block. We'll do the headline. We'll say call to action starts here. And we're going to add a paragraph and we'll say this is supporting text for my headline and CTA, and then we'll put in a button. Try us out. We won't modify anything yet. First, we're going to just put in all of our typical things. We might do image select and maybe something like that. Let's update it and preview the page. So. There it is, that's our typical call to action. And the, the great thing with, um, with generate blocks is now I can go in and I can modify you know, this stuff. So I can go in and I can check off a background color, let's say, you know, something like that. I can highlight the typography in my heading section, uh, show advanced, uh, let's just go font size, bring this up little bit bigger. Let's get it really big like that. Spacing, I might do something like bring down um, top margin just a touch, right? Just to kind of align it with my image there. Try us out. We're going to switch it over. Let's add an icon. Um, let's use the mug because it's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. And we'll change the colors of the button. Something like this. And then the image size, we'll go medium. Well, actually, we'll just put it for large, right? Advanced, we don't need anything advanced in there. Styles, I think this is all default Gutenberg, so that's not going to change anything. So, you can see with Guten, uh, with Gutenberg blocks, the approach is, excuse me, with generate blocks, you, the approach is, look, we're going to give you these elements. We're going to give you all of the modifications we think you're going to need to craft your own. And then what we want you to do is save this to a reusable block. So add to reusable blocks. I'll call this main hero. We'll save it, update the page, preview it. And that's the hero. Of course, it doesn't look super great on this, uh, <laughs> on this theme or on the colors that I selected. But the idea is now you go in, you save this hero, and then you can use it and repurpose it throughout the site. 
it's critical to just understand that their approach is to be as lightweight as possible. And I really, really, you know, respect that. And I think that's something that, you know, we don't see a lot of theme shops doing or other Gutenberg plugins doing. They just want to throw a hundred thousand features at you and then just give you all of this stuff to, to play with and predefined. And that's awesome. Uh, but I think that the approach that generate press is taking here is like, no, we're, We'll give you the road to 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 drive on, and you go wherever you want with it. But we're not going to tell you where you should, you know, pull off or or exit off the off the road or and whatnot. And I and I like the fact that look, I can go in and I can define these areas specifically. The tooling is very fast and efficient, uh, and the code is great. And I can just drill everything down into this. And I assume as we get into site building uh, experience, the core site building experience with WordPress these uh, these hooks, I'll call them hooks, I shouldn't use the word WordPress hooks because it's a, it's a more developer thing, but these uh, settings are going to be able to translate to that core experience as best as possible. And sometimes we need to stay core to WordPress as closely as possible without extra bloat, right? You just might want to do it that way in your project or you're handing a website over to a customer and you're like, I, I don't want to give them too many features. I don't want to have to have them buy you know, a hundred different plugins to do, you know, one thing that I can do with all of this stuff, even if I have to go in and code it a little bit, you know, that kind of thing, uh, then it really works. But look at all the options, typography, the spacing elements, uh, the background gradient, background image, if you wanted to set a background image, uh, some advanced sections, if you want to target uh, particular CSS classes. And then this is documentation. Visit our documentation right here in the uh, editor experience. A lot of plugin authors and theme authors should pay attention to that. It's very, very useful to have that immediate help because now if somebody's struggling to do something, they want to quickly find uh, how to configure something or, you know, you don't want that, that extra few clicks is a, it's a nice savings time, right? It makes the experience of using these plugins uh, a whole heck of a lot better. So that's generate blocks. I'm assuming they'll be rolling out more features, more updates to it, but I'm happy. I'm, I'm excited to be using Generate Press again and to be recommending it. Uh, not that I never did not recommend it. I think it's, a, it's an amazing theme. And I'm just super excited to see them roll out Generate Blocks. Let me know what you're doing with Generate Press. Uh, I, do, I definitely want to do a video on their new uh, on their new starter sites. I think some of the stuff is really cool. If I go in to the sites library, like I'm really interested in using... Uh, this dev theme on a couple site projects I have. Like these are really well-designed uh, themes and I think they're going to be really, really efficient with the Generate Blocks uh, built into it. Let me know what you want to see about Generate Press. Are you still using Generate Pr Press? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.